Hello everyone, this is Christopher Morgan at ServiceNow. Many of you have seen the video that I did showing an integration between ServiceNow and barcode scanners, including a customer who came to us and asked what else we were doing to integrate with RFID technology. So I thought I'd show you some options today. The customer came to us and basically wanted to track the sensitive assets that were leaving their data center. They wanted to know where those assets were going. They wanted that to be recorded in the CMDB in the location area of the CI record. Now, when we built this out, we also realized that this had two purposes. It could not only scan what was going out, it could scan what was coming in. So we could also configure it to act as a loading dock to tie in assets that have been tagged with RFID from the supplier and then tie them in with POs when they arrived at the particular location. RFID technology is very explosive right now and it's been around for the better part of a decade. It's very common in apartment access fobs, the, whole, the highway toll systems, and even new passwords. There's two components that we're going to need for our RFID system. Those are the RFID tags and the RFID reader. Now there are many different configurations available including sticky sticker versions for the tags and countless configurations and shapes of the different readers. In terms of the tag, there are several different frequencies available. By far and large, the 13.56 megahertz high frequency is the most common. This is what you'll see on most common, most new smart cards, and it's even in NFC technology. There's two major flavors of RFID tags, and that's active, which means it has a battery and it's got some energy to it in boosting its signal, or passive, which means it has no battery. And like I mentioned, they are in countless configurations, any different shape you can imagine, uh, including animal tagging, which I thought was a great example showing there on the right. Full disclaimer, to the best of my knowledge, we do not have any customers using ServiceNow to track livestock, although that would be pretty cool. In terms of the reader technology, the gate shape is probably the best for what this particular customer wanted because it literally would sit around a doorway. The gate can be in the shape of a turnstile, it could be around the entrance to the data center, around the entrance to the office, and when the reader pat or when the tag passed through that reader, we would know where and when that transaction took place. So what's going to happen is the tag is going to send a number. That serial number is going to be unique per tag. It will be encoded depending on on a different uh, format, and we'll know the time when that happened. The key there that all this RFID tag is passing is its number, just a unique ID. Now, there's a couple different configurations here. The first would be that auditing configuration. So that's where we would have an asset like that monitor there, which has an RFID tag on it. You would come up to that asset with a handheld scanner, point it at the RFID tag, and that number would be transferred into the scanner. You would then take that, take the number from the scanner and import it into ServiceNow. This is how you could look up an asset in the CMDB. This is how you can get some more information about that asset, all based on that RFID number being included as a field in your CMDBI on that CI record. The second configuration would be for receiving. Now admittedly this is going to be difficult because you will have to have your supplier send you your supplies, your incoming supplies, with RFID tags. If you are a large enough vendor to force them to do that, that would be great. The configuration would be when those boxes arrived, which had been tagged, they would go through a gate or a turnstile on your loading dock. That would then be recorded and imported in the service now. That might be tied to a purchase order, that might be tied to a purchase request, or it might just go directly into your asset management system in ServiceNow. The configuration that we're going to be using today is for a demo demonstration, obviously, because ServiceNow wasn't willing to buy me the gates and turnstiles for this video. So I have some RFID tags that are of the 120 kilohertz frequency variety, and I've got a RFID reader that I purchased off a website in Eastern Europe and had shipped to me. And that is going to connect to my laptop, which is connected to ServiceNow in the cloud. The key components of this involve my asset and the little widget that I've created. 
Now, I was really tired of people bothering my bo borrowing my copy of Tape, Slu Tape Sucks by Frank Slootman, who is our CEO, and that is the book that he wrote. So what I did was I took my RFID tag and I tagged Tape Sucks, the book, so that I could track where that asset goes. I then built the widget out in ServiceNow as a UI page so I could hang it on a home page or I could hang it on any field, and it will serve as a lookup. So when the book gets close to the RFID reader, the RFID tag will be transmitted into the first column there, and it will do an automatic lookup on what the part name is or the CI, where it's supposed to be, and who's it assigned to. And this is how it looks. I was really frustrated because a lot of employees around here just wanted to borrow my book and take it. So I placed the tag in there, and when I scan it, you'll notice that the number transfers into the laptop and does a lookup. And we can see that it's located in the San Jose data center. I also built out a widget here that can automatically update the location of an item when it's scanned with RFID. So for example, I would set my location to be the, the data center that I'm at, and it would tag that asset when it comes in with that particular data center and update that. So if I wanted to, to track where this asset is going from San Jose to San Diego, I could set that data center there and it would look like this. We know already that Frank's book is in San Jose, so I'm going, I know I'm in San Diego and I'm going to set that as my location using this jelly look up there. When I scan the book now, it will automatically update the data center to San Diego from San Jose, and I can confirm that by looking at the CI record in my CMDB for the location there. So how does our demo example using the USB stick relate to a real-world configuration? Well, the technology behind RFID is the same. There's a tag that transmits a number and the reader, and it does not matter the shape of either of those components. In this graphic here, my reader is just like the USB stick, but it's a gateway in the center of the screen. When my asset, which has been tagged with an RFID tag, such as that monitor on the left, passes through the gateway, the number is transmitted, and we can use that to automatically update the CI record. Now, in this configuration here, we know that the CI went through the RFID gate and went, but we don't necessarily know which way it was going. What we can do in ServiceNow is go into that CI record, and view its history in a calendar view. We can then come down here into the audit, audits, do a hover over and see that there was a change on location and it did go from San Jose to San Diego. This is important because we'd like to know whether or not this came onto our loading dock or whether or not this left our data center. In regards to the reader, the reader that we use today mimics the keyboard as a human interface, de interface device or HID. And this is a pretty common way for an input device to talk to your operating system. We didn't require any drivers on either Windows 7 or Mac OS, Mac OS X to do this. It's just plug and play. And the device I did get off a website for about $50. It is marketed towards hackers to experiment with RFID technologies. It is not production grade. Many of the other RFID readers out there have a slightly different configuration. A lot of them use serial port input. This adds a slight layer of complexity because it might not be typing in that number automatically like what we saw. However, there are integration capabilities built into ServiceNow that can serve that. For example, ServiceNow can suck in a flat file like a CSV or an XML file, and we can talk to a server that that RFID reader is connected to via e runbook automation or a few other integration points. And the tags I used were just 125 kilohertz PVC cards, which cost about a dollar a piece. Very common with what you'd see in ID cards nowadays. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope that this video gave you some background information on RFID technologies and gave you some ideas on different options to integrate RFID with ServiceNow. Please do not hesitate to reach out, and we can't wait to see all the different RFID integrations that you build on our platform, all powered by ServiceNow.